Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0, and today is day 42. So we've been working on command for listings, and I wanted to showcase today your ability as an agent to create a market snapshot video for use when you're at the listing appointment. You kind of show it off. You could even send it ahead of time, right? Hey, just on behalf of you and uh, our opportunity to meet, I've created this video whatever that might look like. So in order to create that market snapshot video, we're gonna come into designs, the design applet, right? We've got the little paintbrush. Click on the plus sign, and I'm going to choose video, and then next. From here, I want to search the neighborhood that the listing as in is in. However, some of you may not be able to locate the neighborhood. You may not have a next door neighborhood where you are. The neighborhood might be a little off. That's okay, guys, just choose any neighborhood. In fact, you can use mine if you'd like, if you can't find your own neighborhood. If I do a search for Fawn Lake Pine Lakes, here's my neighborhood. The reason why it doesn't really matter what neighborhood you select is that if you choose an existing neighborhood, the data is gonna come in from the MLS on that neighborhood. However, you have the ability to edit all of it. So if your neighborhood isn't listed or you don't agree with the numbers, you can easily come in, right? I probably wouldn't send someone, if I had a listing in Fawn Lake, an address, a neighborhood name called Fawn Lake Pine Lakes because they're a little bit different between the two neighborhoods. They're a little bit competitive as well. So I would leave it as Fawn Lake. And then I might come in and pull my own CMA and realize that, well, Pine Lakes is actually bringing us down a little bit. The average home price is 375 and continuing on the rise. That makes the price per square foot 132. Those are also on the rise. Uh, there were three homes for sale, but that included two in Pine Lakes, so it's actually one. And Fawn Lake homes move much quicker than Pine Lake, so our average days on market is actually eight. I can then come in and select neighborhood features. Now this is pulled in based upon a variety of data points within the neighborhood. Uh, but if you know that neighborhood better, you can always come in, click on that drop-down box, and see all of the different neighborhood features. This is going to be um, one of the points of feature in your video. So if you decide, hey, maybe animal advocates, not so much. Uh, who doesn't love drinking wine? So let's do wine lovers, whatever that might be. Next, you can click on the drop down box next to agent information. Make sure your headshot and all of your information is updated. And then click on market center brokerage information and make sure your DBA, your license, brokerage, and owner statement are all updated as well. Then all you have to do is click on next. Pretty soon this video is going to be generated and then you can quickly and easily start using that for other marketing purposes. Like I said, you could send this to the sellers before the appointment. I'll just play the video real quick so you can get an idea of what it looks like for those of you that have not seen it before. It's only about a minute long. So you can see quick and easy marketing piece that you can put together very simply and then I would just click on save. That video is now in my video templates. So if I click on video, I can find the one that I just created today. So here's that Fawn Lake video created now. I can click on the three little dots and I can choose to download it, use it in a social campaign, share it on social. I can rename that or I can delete it if it's an older video. And if I click on download, you'll see that, that I get it in an MP format and then I can send that out in an email or something along those lines. I could also make a post, maybe tag the sellers. I might be able to use these videos in a neighborhood uh, Facebook group. Uh, I could just post them to my regular page and maybe do it a once a month type of thing. So I'm updating my neighbors on what's happening in my neighborhood. 
So that's a quick and easy way to create a uh, market update video design using the designs templates within command and then send it to your seller to once again kind of enhance the marketing efforts that you do to get their house sold. Guys, hope everyone's having a great Friday. Looking forward to a fantastic weekend. And as always, I will look forward to speaking with you again real soon.